Today I want to introduce character interactions. These are um, some rapid scenario tools and templates that I have been working on and I also wanted to share some of the lessons I've learned so that you can actually go out there and create your own. These character interactions are great for rapid scenario building and um, in my blog post you'll see I talked about uh, one of the models that Tom Coleman um, talked about in one of his blog posts about the challenge choice consequence model. Basically you provide some sort of challenge or scenario, the user has some choices to make and then gets the consequence or feedback based on what they've selected. I thought I'd run through a few different samples. I have six in here. Um, this first one it's a two-person character interaction and uh, you'll see here's the scenario the challenge, here are the choices, and if you select on this you get uh, feedback based on what you selected. Um, here's another one, same thing, this would be like a quiz avatar. Um, here's your question, there's your choice and uh, custom feedback based on what you select. A third one, this could be just a one-person choice, um, so you have some sort of scenario about Anthony here, um, I guess we call him Matthew. Um, click on it, get some feedback. Here it's a notebook. Your challenge is here, your choices are here. You choose that and you get feedback on the right side. This is a customer service interaction. You can walk through, get some feedback on how that agent did, um, and then get uh, you know, more feedback by clicking on the, the next button. Here's another one that's on paper and here's the challenge and you, you would select these different options and get feedback over here based on what your, what your choice was. What's great is you can really build these out quickly and it's interesting, you can build out a very similar type of scenario in a bunch of different tools. The outputs I just showed you were in PowerPoint with a rapid authoring tool layered on top of it for the output. Um, I've also created files for Adobe Presenter, Adobe Captivate, Articulate Storyline, Articulate Quizmaker, and Articulate um, Presenter. So you can you can create these scenarios in, in any sort of tool and uh, I can get into more details about that later. Now here's the first interaction um, in PowerPoint and I just wanted to show you some of the neat things um, about this. It's really easy to change any of the content so you could change what the challenge was, you could change what the choices were um, just by editing the text and same thing you could change the feedback on the feedback slide. You can also really quickly change out characters or character expressions so if I decided that I didn't want uh, Ian here I could just go change picture, swap out a new character now of course I need to uh, flip him horizontally and size him up a little bit but it's just that easy to drop in a new character. You could do the same thing with expressions, same character in a different expression. Um, so really easy way to build out a mini scenario um, and easy to use. Well thanks for sticking with me that long. Um, I'm actually going to make that first scenario available as a free giveaway um, and uh, I'll put that, that link on my, my blog post at uh, blog.elearningart.com and uh, also going to do a few more lessons showing you how you can build your own uh, character interaction and uh, by tool and I'll also list out some best practices that I've learned as I've been building these. Um, so hopefully that free giveaway will give you um, some ideas of how to build out your own and you, and you can really play around with it. Love to get your feedback on it. Uh, stay tuned for the download link and uh, some more lessons. Thanks so much.